Mark, yes, in Mark so that he ordained the twelve. He ordained the twelve and preached them. And Acts uh, 16, 4 says, And as they went through the cities, they delivered them the decrees for the king that were ordained of the pastors and elders which were at Jerusalem. And let's say it's always God that does the acts of ordaining. If we, if we go to Acts chapter 20, Acts chapter 20, verse 28, and it says, Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers to feed the church of God which he has purchased in his own blood. So it's God, it's God that did that. It's God that makes the people the overseer. It's God that does the anointing. It's God that does the appointing. Again, Jesus speaking in John 15 says, I have chosen you and ordained you, talking to the talking to the disciples. God told uh, Jeremiah, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb. I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So God does that ordaining. God, I'm going to have Tyler come on up, have the uh, presbytery come on up, and uh, as we just we just examined Tyler in here, and we read these uh, yeah. we read these qualifications. I'm going to read them to you very quickly, and it's uh, it's in First uh, Timothy three, and it says uh, the first one. This is a true saying: If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desires a good work. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober. Of good behavior, given the hospitality, apt to teach. Not given to wine, no striker, not greedy, a filthy lucre, but patient. Not a brawler, but covetous. Not covetous. One that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjected, subjection with all gravity. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the uh, church of God? Not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride. He fall into the condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall in reproach and the snare of the devil. As also, you can read those uh, very similar qualifications in Titus. But, uh, but uh, having met the criteria that, that we, we decided in there, let's, let's go ahead and begin the ordination. Now, say this as the pastor of the Macedonia, regular Baptist. And as voted on and approved by the church council, we'll, we'll do the ordination. I'll just ask you a few questions here, and uh, you answer as it applies with, you know, as such as I am, or I will, or I shall. Uh, but uh, are you Tyler Baker, moved by your love to God and His Word, ready to take now upon you this holy work of leading God's people and will faithfully execute this office? I am. Will you, Tyler Baker, as pastor, shepherd, overseer of uh, your flock, lead the flock, commit it to your care? Will you lead them willingly and not for filthy lucre's sake? I will. Will you, Tyler Baker, study to show yourself approved and lead your congregation according to the everlasting truth contained in the King James Version of the Holy Bible? I will. Will you, Tyler Baker, lead by example, set forth in the King James Bible? By our Lord, be the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I will. That's a perfect question. And will you, Tyler Baker, lead your congregation fairly and without respect of persons, as our God is no respect of persons? I will. I just pray then. Go ahead and uh, you kneel here. And we'll gather around and uh, I'll just put a hand on here, and I'll uh, actually I have some here, and I'll start. You right uh, I'll, I'll, I'll start the prayer, and if anyone wants to say something, they can. Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless this ministry of Tyler as he endeavors to do your work. Bless him with understanding to lead your people in a manner that's pleasing to you, Lord. Give him the wisdom of uh, uh, Solomon to be your will, Lord. Make him both a good teacher and a servant of the people. Let many souls be saved and much people grow in the grace and understanding of your word because of this ministry. Teach him to always, Lord, to put you and your word first and ever in all decisions that he makes. Bless him and his family with good health. Let his church be a lighthouse and a beacon in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, let the light of the glorious gospel of Christ may shine on all the lost and undone that enter in. And in Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. 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 All right, we're going to give him a, a quick charge, and then, then he's going to be, and then we're going to give him that right hand of fellowship. But in uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1, it says, I, I therefore... The prisoner of the Lord, of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy 
Amen. Of the vocation wherein you are, wherewith you are called. With all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, and endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body, one Spirit, even as you are called, and one hope you are calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. Of course, that's something we have to remember and keep ahead of everything else. In uh, 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy is, is, has a lot of charges in it, and I picked out a couple of them here. In uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 says, I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead as appearing in his kingdom, preach the word, be instant. In season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust shall they keep to themselves, teachers having its ears, and they shall turn away from their ears from the truth, and shall be turned into the fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of evangelists, make full proof of thy ministry. For I am ready to be offered, Paul said, and in the time of the departure of their hand, I have fought the good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. And finally, we end up with this in 1 Peter. In 1 Peter chapter 5. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 1 says, The elders which are among you I exhort, who also am an elder, and a witness of suffering of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory. Shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not to filthy lucre, but a ready mind. Neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, you shall receive crown of glory that fadeth not away. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves to the elder, yea, all of you uh, be subject one to another and be clothed in humility. For God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, before, uh, under, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Who resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace, who hath called us into his eternal glory by, by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a little, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. 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 Go ahead and close us in prayer, and then we'll offer. Pastor Baker here, the right hand of fellowship. So, Lord, our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, God, once again, we just want to thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to be here today and to witness this. God, we do pray now that as, as Brother Tyler goes out, Lord, that he'll listen to you and all Amen. that he does. God, we pray that he'll lead his church just the way that you would have him to, Lord. Never let him get above, uh, uh, you know, too high and mighty. Amen. He can't Amen. clip his wings and bring him right down. So just, uh, we do pray, Lord, that you would bless him uh, as he witnesses to all those uh, in Florida down there, whoever he comes in contact with, Lord, that you bless the word as it goes out. And, and uh, just be with him, Lord, in all that he says and does down there, Lord. And like I say, always give him that guidance, Lord, to keep him under your tutelage and, uh, and uh, in your love and under your care, Lord. And his family as well, Lord, because we, uh, we love them all. We want... Uh, we, we like him, uh, when I talk to him, as I told the other uh, fellows, we we like him want to see souls saved, or wherever yeah. it may be, as our um, missionary friend here said, we got a lot of good people over there in the, Philist or in the Philippines that need to hear the gospel. Yeah. We got a lot of people down in Tallahassee. We got a lot of people here in Newport that need to, yeah. Lord. So let us all be ever mindful of the great commission that you have given us to go into all the world and preach the gospel. So now, Lord, we just... Uh, one part, leaving, leaving you with a few words, Lord, that you just, uh, like I said, love him, keep him, guide him, direct him in all that he says and does, Lord, and let it all be for your benefit. And we'll thank you for that. Now, Lord, as we part, 
just pray that you go with us. Keep us safe and bring us back here, Lord, when it be thy will. In Jesus' name we do humbly ask and pray. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank